Hello there, I thought I would make a short uh, sequel to um, an episode I made on here. Um, it's entitled, How Social Media Can Drive Wedges Between Us. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, you can refer to that episode, How Social Media Can Drive Wedges Between Us. In fact, I'm going to see if I can try and put the link on the description. I'm not absolutely positive that I'll be able to do it. I'll do my best. The formats and the standardization of the way things are done on the internet and on platforms is confusing and it's different on every platform so I don't know if I can post a link or not but search for the episode in this podcast. Um, see if you can look up how social how social media can drive wedges between us. Not to mention, I had a sleep another sleepless night last night because our neighbors were walking over my room and rattling my floor, um, ra- shaking the wall and rattling the floor to the point where it, it even overrode my uh, vi- floor vibration masking devices, and I felt their vibrations anyway. So it just, uh, you know, I took the, I took measures to mitigate those floor vibrations and they're still not working. So, um, I had another really bad night not sleeping and I was really upset with them. Still am. So let me get back to the topic. So if I'm stumbling over the words a little bit, it's because I'm sleep deprived. Um, my friend Tommy that I used to know. Um, I'll just give you a quick summary. Uh, back in November, right before the holiday season started last year, last, back in 2022, um, I was looking up some people on, on Facebook because I was having trouble searching them and I wanted to get in touch with them and see how they were doing during the pandemic and see how they were doing during the holidays, and I was very acutely aware that my roommate and I needed to hook up with some friends in town. We really were feeling isolated, at least I was, and I wanted to see if I could improve things a little bit in our environment, and I thought Tommy was a really cool person to uh, talk to, and um, I got in touch with him because I looked him up because I wanted to see how his wife was doing, too. His wife, my uh, my girlfriend, a friend of mine, not my girlfriend that I'm in a relationship with now, but my, my uh, friend, girlfriend, um, she, I understood, was living in Michigan, and um, Tommy had told me that um, she had gone to live with someone in Michigan, and I thought it was a man and said she was in a really bad situation with him. Turns out it was a woman. Um, She, Tommy now tells me that she went off to Michigan to live with this woman and thought they were going to fall in love. And it turns out this woman didn't love my friend and my girlfriend. And um, we're, we're, you know, it's conjecture, but... I looked her up on the web too, and she's she's dead. And I have reason to believe maybe she uh, she killed herself. She had issues with depression, uh, mental illness, and um, she was disabled. And um, her relationship with Tommy didn't work out, obviously, because she broke up with him, left him, went went to live with this woman, and then this woman didn't love her, so she. Maybe she killed herself. I don't know. She she might not have. Maybe she died of other causes. Maybe it was COVID. Maybe it was cancer. Maybe it was something else. Maybe her uh, maybe her uh, jilting lover killed her. God knows what might have happened. I oh sorry about that. I'm, anything can happen these days. But I ended up looking him up. Looking up her husband, my other friend. I was I was friends with both of them. And, um, I told him she died, and I asked him how he was doing. I thought he had a right to know. 
and um, he didn't get back to me for a really long time and um, he didn't get back to me till like March he finally emailed me and um, asked me how I was doing and I emailed back and I said I'm okay um, I, I'm recovering from COVID but I'm alright um, you can call my, you can call me or my roommate on the phone if you'd like or text us or you can, you know, maybe we can get together, you know, where, you know, COVID, the lockdown is over, we can get together. So, um, he, he answered me on Facebook and, um, I had looked him up on Facebook and, um, on Facebook, I asked him to call me. I responded and I asked him to call me. I said, listen, um, why don't you call me? I'd feel better if we had a relationship like we had before with you and me and, uh, her. You know, we used to be friends. We used to hang out. You know, we don't have to hang out. We can just talk on the phone. He called me the next day and, um, still in March and, um, He, um, it felt like he was getting on my case for having people on my Facebook page. He got upset with me because he thought I was, I don't know, he thought my Facebook page looked funny. And, um, I thought those were real people. I don't know. I didn't know for sure, but he said maybe they're robots. This is kind of turning into a repeat of um, what I said on the other episode, but let me let me fast track, fast forward here, and uh, tell you what happened. I decided to block him, and I decided to unfriend him because after that one phone call he made, after he said I have to go to the store, Carol, goodbye, he didn't call me after that. He left me one message on uh, Messenger after I told him I wanted to talk on the phone. I didn't want to have a Facebook relationship. I told him I used Facebook to look him up. And I told him he was still welcome to look at my uh, stuff on Facebook if he wanted to and on Instagram if he wanted to. But um, I don't want him to just, just contact me on Facebook. I'd like to talk on the phone. Um, I'd like, I'd like him to call Roger, or, no, my other friend, I, I'd like him to call, uh, Bruce, my roommate, um, I gave him his phone number, gave him my phone number, um, I would like that, so he called me the next day, and, um, I felt like, you know, I, I don't want to say he gave me a lecture, but he basically told me without having to say a word really that he didn't trust me anymore. I was kind of under the impression, impression he didn't trust me anymore because um, I had those people on my Facebook page and I deleted them. I did it for him so he'd feel better. I did it for me because I didn't know if they were bots. And, um, after that, he still didn't forgive me. He still, he still said, well, I still feel weird about you doing that. And I said, look, I said, look, Tommy, I, I spend more time doing this than actually having a conversation with you on the telephone. And we go back a long way, you and me and her, you and me and your wife, my friend. And, um... I hope you can trust me again. I can't believe I had to say that. And he goes, well, it has been a long time, Carol. It, there's been a really large gap. And I, and I thought, Jesus Christ. I thought, really? Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, my sweet Lord. Now, um, I instinctively thought, a real friend. 
somebody who wanted to make an effort to be my friend again would may, try to be my friend again, understand me, would catch up with me and do catch up and and would act like nothing, no time ever passed. That was the kind of friendship I was hoping to have with him. But instead, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think I only ended up having a relationship with him a long time ago because I was friends with my girlfriend, his wife. And it, you know, before you get any ideas, I'm not even going to dignify that with, with explaining. It wasn't sexual. It wasn't a threesome. She was my, one of my. She was a friend, and and uh, he was. I knew her. I knew him through her. And sometimes he and I did talk on the phone separately. You know, it was the kind of relationship where we all felt really comfortable talking to each other. And I thought we could still have that. I thought especially if he knew that she died. I thought maybe that would draw us closer together. Well, I guess, alas, that doesn't always happen. And um, maybe I didn't really expect that too much, but what I expected was for him to act like a catch-up friend like okay it's been a long time well we're still friends we're still we're still cool well I guess he didn't think I was cool anymore that hurt a lot that hurt so badly and when he didn't call anymore when he didn't call after that I guess I didn't feel comfortable calling him after that last conversation we had I was hoping maybe he'd make another move and he'd call me again you know as a friend well, he didn't, and uh, and he um, he just wanted to mess around on Facebook, and um, I don't want to have a Facebook relationship with someone that I had a friendship with in town, face to face. And um, when you're on social media, your friendships might change, and if something messes up on Facebook, or if there's a glitch or something. There could be some really horrible misunderstandings, as I said in that other episode. So, why couldn't he call me? Why couldn't we talk? I, you know, the only the only way he's going to be able to trust me again is by spending time with me. But he, I guess he doesn't trust me just because of that stupid Facebook shit. And I deleted those people. I didn't just do it for my own safety. I did it so he'd feel more comfortable with me. I made a goddamn effort, goddammit. I made an effort for him. (coughs) I feel like he doesn't give a shit about that right now. And I, I blocked him and unfriended him. And I blocked him and unfriended him not not just because I'm mad at him, but because... Not because I, I, I don't want to be around that toxic bullshit. I also unfriended him because I don't need any friend, any Facebook friends that I could be friends with in, in, in San Diego, right here where I live, and right here where he lives, God damn it, He doesn't live too far away from me either. Pissed. You know, he lives in a recovery home too, and we, we could be giving each other support because we're both addicts. Christ's sakes. So, excuse my anger, but, um, social media can ruin a friendship if you use it the wrong way. It can. If you use it to fuck yourselves and each other up and fuck up a friendship as an excuse to mess up a friendship, you're using it the wrong way. Careful. Be safe.